So in Gary's Mod, there's one tool that I find that I always use every time I'm in a dark map. And of course that being the flashlight. Now this is something that we tend to look over or just not really pay much attention to, but the flashlight is a very essential tool when you're playing on anything that isn't completely bright. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there's a lot of maps that even though it's during the daytime, it's just really difficult to really see anything because it's so dim even though it's supposed to be day. And then that's even worse once I put it through my editing software and through my recording software where it dims it even more. But today we're going to try to fix that issue and just to spice up the classic flashlight texture with some flashlight mods. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. And also guys, before we continue, if you listen for a second, we have changed the flashlight sound. That's just going to be something that's going to be, well, evident throughout all these flashlights. But I thought I would just mention that just in case anyone wanted to know what that was. All right, and first things first, we have the grunge flashlight. This is going to be a more dark, gritty looking flashlight, perfect for horror maps, and I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like it goes out further too. Now, it's supposed to be dark and grungy, but it actually kind of seems pretty bright to me, and maybe that's part of why it works great in horror maps? I don't know, I couldn't really tell you, but I will say one thing, it definitely has more character than the standard flashlight. All right guys, so I think this does really shine in a dark corridor, so let's actually go, this is actually outside of the map, but it still works. And we can see it's nice, bright, and the definition is pretty high. So I wouldn't say that this is a low quality flashlight. By the way, this is from Contagion, which is, I believe, another Source game. In fact, it's a game I've put way too many hours into. But overall, I'd say this is a pretty decent flashlight. It's not too different, but stay tuned because we have quite a few interesting ones coming up. All right, so now we're going to jump from the grungy side of things to a more realistic and tactical side of things. This is the ready or not flashlight. We can see there's a lot of emphasis in the center. That's like the brightest part. And I gotta say it looks pretty good. Like the way it moves from texture to texture, you can see how it gets like more oblong along like say longer areas like this, but then along a wall where it's pretty straight, it looks pretty good, I, I dig it. However, there's one thing I did definitely notice and that is that it doesn't seem to cover a wide enough area. Like it, it tapers out a lot more than the last one we had. And I wouldn't say this is good for a horror map or something, you know, that's really dark. And in fact, just to prove this point, we're gonna go back to this dark area where we were before. And yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It covers a nice area, but like I said, it does kind of taper off. The emphasis is definitely on the center there with that bright circle. But overall, in terms of quality, I think this looks pretty good. Now, of course, you guys didn't think I was gonna do this video and not do something weird, right? <laughs> uh, this is... Hello. Navi from Ocarina of Time. That's right. I didn't even think you could do something like this, but this is so cool. So you press F, you summon Navi the fairy. She does her classic tried and true. Hey, look, listen. And instead of shooting a light in front of you, she illuminates the area around you with a beautiful, ominous fairy glow. And I gotta say, this seems to be pretty effective. Although, like I said, if you're trying to light up an area like far away, then of course it's not going to be extremely useful. But you know what? At least we're not alone anymore. We have a fairy friend. Now, of course, how does this fare in a darker area? Well, it works pretty good. In fact, the glow is very atmospheric, should I say. And also get this, when you make Navi go away, you get this awesome little sound effect of her just flying off. So overall, a awesome addition. And if you're a Zelda fan, ah, oh, like why isn't this just your default flashlight? All right, and of course the guy who updated the sound of the flashlight also decided to make a texture update as well. And that is exactly what this is. And this is just looking to be an overall upgrade. It's not trying to do anything different or do anything unique. It is just trying to make it brighter and bigger. And I gotta say, it definitely succeeded. This thing is mad bright. And that's enough Zoomer language from me for one day. Let's go and try to see what it looks like in a nice dark room. I mean, fantastic. It does look a little too sharp, like almost unrealistically so. It doesn't really taper out too much. But it looks good and it's bright that's the important bit so if you're struggling to see things or of course the flashlight's a little too narrow this is definitely going to fix that all right and last up we have the dynamic flashlight so we did go to construct here just to properly show this off 
Now, unfortunately, guys, there is a problem. Unless I miss something, this does work to create a more realistic flashlight. I mean, it looks awesome. It's big, it covers a nice area, but of course this is the dynamic flashlight, and it's supposed to create more realistic dynamic shadows. However, you're gonna notice in first person, they don't work. The shadows just stand up, and it looks really bizarre. But, what about in third person? And well, the results speak for themselves. Look how good these shadows look. Just freaking awesome. Now, I know you do get a bit of dynamic shadows from the standard flashlight. Also, by the way, guys, check this out. Switch to the crowbar. It doesn't mess up. So, it looks good in third person. Normally, when you have the crowbar out, the flashlight, it just goes up and it, you know, freaks out. But this fixes that as well as creates these awesome, realistic dynamic shadows. Now, of course, to take this even further, what about with things like gates? And here we have a few gates, and well, as you guys can see, once again, the results do speak for themselves. It looks freaking awesome with the gate. I don't know, I think that's our hand getting in the way. Okay, so yeah, the gates, it looks awesome. Like, the way the light peers through the metal bars, and you can also kind of see... As we get further away from it, it kind of moves accordingly. Overall, just really cool. You can see even more detail here. When you get really close. Oh, that is just so awesome. Oh, oh until we knock it down. But yeah, really cool. So definitely a nice upgrade in third person. If you're playing with friends, this will be super noticeable. And it's just an overall upgrade for the flashlight anyway. I think it looks awesome. Of course, you know, again, the whole first person thing where the shadows don't work. That might be a deal breaker, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe there's a bug or some mod that I have installed. I do have all the other flashlight mods disabled, by the way, guys, just to make sure that nothing's interfering. And there you guys have it. That is five flashlights that you can use to replace the one you have. But just because this is Necro's videos and I don't play by the rules, I decided to make it six instead. And this is the v -Manip flashlight. You can see it's a lot more blue, definitely more new age. Um, kind of hurts your eyes, so maybe don't use this in the dark or at least, you know, pitch black. But the best thing about it is it's awesome. You actually do have this animation, thanks of course to the V-Minute base, and every time you press F now, you whip it out. Now of course, unfortunately, this does not look good in third person. In fact, I don't even think this works in third person, so that's a little bizarre. Um, I mean, it obviously works once you get it out, but uh, it's a little weird. So guys, which flashlight mod is your favorite? You can let me know down below in the comment section or in my Discord page in the description. That's where you're gonna find all the mods in this video as well as all the links like my Facebook, Twitter, and everything else. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this until the end and until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.